What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. My name is Chris. That's Mike. What's going on? The Walking Dead, episode 13 of season yes. 9, Choke Point, or as I like to call the Beta Daryl fight episode. <laughs> that's it. I mean, that's <laughs> biggest part of this one, right? Biggest part of this one. But before we get to the Beta fight, uh, let's just talk real quick. Uh, you know, Mike and I were just talking off camera and, uh, you know, uh, some cool stuff with the Highwaymen. Now, I don't remember the Highwaymen from the comic. I don't know. Yeah, I don't why. think they're. I don't. I don't know if they're a part of it. I'm not sure. I mean, they you're may- obviously farther ahead of. In yeah, the comics than but I, am, I don't but. know. They might be. I don't remember. I don't remember. And that's fine though, guys, because we're not reading the comics. We're talking about the show. So yeah. I, I like. Do you trust them? Um. Well, yeah, I do. I think. I don't know why, but here's the thing. I like that it was something that showed up, right? And they're like, oh, we're gonna go meet these guys, and we're gonna we're gonna see what we have to do with these guys. They meet them, they have the standoff, which was actually really cool. I enjoyed that scene a lot. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed Carol talking to them and like them trying to go back and forth, and uh, I enjoyed the fact that you know the kingdom like out outsmarted them. You know, they flanked them and they got them, and they were like, oh yeah, bitches. Well, guess what? No, nah, we got you. Yeah. We got you. Nice try trying to hide yeah. in silhouette. But yeah. um, no, nah, I like that stuff. Um, and then yeah, it was cool. And then, and then they got him on their side. Yeah, I mean, I I, I I'm gonna go with you and say that that uh, I trust them. All right. Um, it didn't take much convincing. Obviously, uh, you said about uh, with Carol. It was funny. It was like Cookie Carol face too. Yeah. You know she she had a she they had options. You know uh, Ezekiel yeah. kind of wanted to go in there and and take the these guys out and. Mm-hmm. And she kind of knew uh, kind of what to say to a she, degree. Because she knew that they could wipe him out anyway. It's like, yeah, let's yeah. try this. If not, they did. Yeah. And so he was it's, like, it's, all right. Yeah, no. So it's cool. The only thing I thought was a little bit awkward about the uh, the highway people, really, is just the fact that they had this nice little setup. And, like, you never ran into these guys before, just out of the blue. Then you, you know, I, I don't know. I just thought that was a little. That, I, yeah, I just figured with such a complex that they had, you would have bumped into them. One of somebody would have bumped into them. Right. But plus, that's I, being nitpicky. But plus, also, I feel like. <clears throat> I also feel like. Yeah, right. Like, okay, we're just going to introduce it. Like, it wasn't this long. The Walking Dead has a history of, like, presenting things like episodes ahead, see, maybe even a season ahead. You know, or half a season ahead. And like this yeah. Highwaymen stuff just happened. And it was like, all right, that's fine. You know, it, it's glad they didn't drag it out. They didn't drag it out. They did it all in one episode. And it's yeah. interesting because the guy that got to be the Highwaymen leader, I like him. I like him in that. At first, I was like, what the hell? This is supposed to be the leader guy. But then, like, I don't know. He just seems to fit that role. And then he shows up later to help the caravan. And it's like, he's like, we're the highway man, you know? And it's like, we're going to help you. And he's got this dumb, he's got this dumb look on his face. They got like the perfect actor. Not saying that the actor's dopey looking, but the way he's got the hat on and the beard, he's a, he's a, he's a husky dude. And it's just like, I don't know. I enjoyed it at first. I I think that, I think that's why it's going to work. Yeah. Is is because the guy, they're not bright. They're not, I feel like they're not that bright. (laughs) Yeah, and and it also wouldn't help uh, getting a few more people on our side, and that I think can that's fight prob- and stuff. Yeah, yeah like I think on. that's probably and, uh, and it's you know, too much. Part too. It'll be too much if we have to fight somebody else in the middle of fighting the whispers. Yeah, you know? yeah, you know. So speaking of fighting the whispers, mm-hmm. um, you know, uh, they're they're going, uh, they they find this place. Oh, and it's it's they've been there before. Co- Connie's. Yeah, Connie and them have been there. Dude, I really like Connie's character. I really enjoy. Like, I think she's played so well. I forget the actress's name at this point. Uh, But I think she's played so well. She's just, like, adamant and writing the stuff down. And it's like, I'm always like, Mm -hmm. what'd she write? What'd she write? You know? I think it's great. I enjoyed it. I enjoy that a lot. And obviously, they've been there before. They've got a nice stash. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's some good stuff in there. And then, yeah, dude, that whole, the whole thing... Uh, tell me how you felt about that stupid love story stuff, man. That stupid kid stuff. I mean, I guess it's building up for something. You know, it's the ultimate cock block by uh, Daryl like, hey! walking. <laughs> you two stop fucking around over there. Yeah, you stop. But uh, stop masturbating I mean, on we, each other. Yeah, we talked about this already. So, I mean, it's puppy love kind of thing. I think the actress um, defined, you know, their characters like likeness for each other as as puppy love. So. Yeah. 
I mean, listen, it's a part of it's a part of the comic book. It's a part of this show, obviously, yeah, and whatever, yeah. whatever, you know, I, you know, I think they're keeping it at a minimum. But I think, like yeah. you said, they're just kind of putting it in because it, 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 it has to do it has to be something because he is that's his Achilles heel at this point. So he's going to yeah. make mistakes and bad decisions based on that, um, which, you know, I'm I'm over the trope, but you know you got to do it. I guess I see it. It is following. Chandler Riggs actually said that he's he's perfectly fine and happy with having the Henry yeah. character take over that portion of the the storyline. You know, that carried yeah. over from the comic, and that's cool. And that's fine. Uh, they're all badasses. Henry, look, Henry's capable. It's not that he's not capable. He is capable. He's a little inexperienced. I'd st- yeah. I'd say still, but he's. I think he's perfectly capable of protecting himself. You know, he, he's just he's just rash and quick and dumb, but he'll learn if he doesn't die. You know, he got that the spirit of the leg and that sucks. Yeah. But, you know, uh, you know, we'll see what happens in that next episode. But yeah, they you know, together they're formidable. And, you know, Beta shows up with his little killing crew. Yeah. The fighting unit, the fighting right. uh, unit, which uh, Beta obviously says. And I think that's kind of interesting, too, because it's giving us a little bit more of what the Whisperers are all about and that they have people that are just doing the, you know, the hunting kind of a thing hunting, and the hurting. jerky stuff from yeah. the episode before. And so that was cool for him to call them the fighting unit. And he's badass. You know, it was crazy when Daryl was shooting down, um, you know, shooting down at the herd when they were first coming up to the hotel or whatever that build the building that they were yeah. hiding out in and beta kind of does like this kind of look up and um i don't know if they it looks kind of like daryl kind of saw him in that like they made eye contact or something yeah. i don't know it kind of looked looked cool but beta's a big dude and the fight was pretty gruesome and it's funny because yeah, daryl Daryl's like when Daryl's like, uh, oh yeah, but they got baited with him. And he's like, he's he's big and whatever and he's like, good, we're gonna kill him first like yeah just the just the Daryl's just like he's got that mentality that we all feel like yeah, no one's gonna no one's gonna no stop. one's better than no us. One's, yeah. no one's gonna stop you know and then Dar- yeah. so so yeah, so they take out a bunch of guys, you know, like we said, Henry did get hurt, uh, but they did take them out. They had the advantage. Obviously, it's called choke point. They knew what was going up. They knew let's go up on the higher levels. And that beta fight, he's a bruiser, man. He is a bruiser. He man. is a bruiser. But how about the how about the kills from Daryl with those oh, yeah, with with couple axe whispers? In the, in, axe the, and a in knife, the and thing. I think he oh, knifed yeah. the guy in the chest and axe to the chest. I'm like, damn, you know, he's not um, he's not messing around. Yeah. You know, so uh, it was cool too because after the episode, like I think it was on Talking Dead or something, it showed like a background with the actors and how they were preparing for the fight and all that right. kind of stuff, um, which was was cool stuff to see because he's he's a big dude. Um, but it was, uh, yeah, it was it was a great fight. I'm 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 glad that we finally saw, you know, two, you know, alphas, yeah. you know, alpha males. Yeah, fighting. And what do you think about the whole elevator shaft and him falling down? Yeah. And- well, I mean, it's cool. I like it because, look, you got to throw a little, you got to throw a little like fantastical stuff in here. Like you knew the man is gonna is gonna survive it. You know, you knew he was mm-hmm. gonna survive it. And you know, he gets up. He's like, oh damn it. You know, like <laughs> it's 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 a very much it's very much like a Jason slash Michael Myers. Jason Voorhees slash Mike Michael Myers character, yeah. where he just doesn't stop, and and I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. I'm okay with that. I like that aspect. You know, it's a little yeah. horror movie esque. You know, he's just gonna keep coming until you put him down, and then he'll keep coming yeah. again. I liked it. I enjoyed it. It was a little bit different. You know, it's um. I enjoyed this episode, man. You know, I I, I enjoyed. You know what it is? I I'm enjoying the, some of these characters together. I enjoy Connie and Daryl together. Uh, you know, Henry again is it is what it is, and we have to kind of go along with the character. Um, yeah. But I'm, you know, this episode I enjoyed it. I I I'm loving all the kingdom stuff. I'm loving them together, Jerry and and Carol and Ezekiel. I love together. I love Jerry now. I I mean, I always have, but like, he's got a longer ponytail. He's he's wear, he's just getting t-shirts, and he's just like, I don't know. Well, we'll so- see. We'll we'll see. I hate it because. With this show, when they build up characters, they go and start away, yeah. and start giving them more and more um, screen time. Yeah, it's, they tend to they tend to be out the door. But I'm kind of curious now to see how Beta is going to get out of the elevator shaft because it looks like he's at least two, three floors down. On, yeah. You know, so it's going to be uh, 
kind of interesting to see if we do see it, uh, him him climbing out of there. But yeah, just like you said, just pushing and pushing. You know that Beta is not going to stop, and and Alpha, and it's it's been really, it's been really good. Um, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed. Nine. I've enjoyed watching it. I've enjoyed watching it. Do we have any questions yeah. this week? Um, unfortunately, we don't have any questions. All right, that's fine. So normally, guys, if you if you haven't caught up with us, we we've been getting questions from from like our fans and stuff and everything, and we've been a- answering them on here. But that's fine. We'll do a little shorter video. I'm happy with that. Yeah. I think we've I think we've talked about everything we want to talk about. Every, anything else you like? The, you like this episode, right? It's a good episode. Yeah. No. Uh, what did I? I wrote something. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, um, I wrote Guardians is what they call the Walkers, which I thought was kind of cool. I don't know if we yeah, heard yeah. that. Yeah, I think uh, we talked Whisper about that last episode, didn't we? Well, it was. I don't think it clicked because that was the the name, name right? Of the episode, the yeah. previous this one. Well, I don't know. I just I just heard him say it, so I'm like, oh, that's kind of. Those are the two quotes I put. I put. Uh, they're simple. Listen, they're simple. The fighting you unit, see? yeah, yeah. And, and the Guardians. So it's uh, good, man. It's good. Cool stuff. I'm excited for um for next week. Yeah, same here. Uh, all right, so that's gonna do it, Mikey. Where? Uh, so if if they had, they don't know already. Where can they get to us? <laughs> Of course, you can get us at thirdpersonpod.com. We want to see what you thought of the episodes, obviously, in the comment section below here on YouTube. We are on Third Person on Instagram, on Twitter. You can have a listen and watch us, actually, on iTunes as well. That's right. So, everybody, thank you watching for watching. Uh, thank you for commenting and getting there and you know letting us know how you thought of the episode. We'll see you on the next episode for The Walking Dead. Later.